Are you looking for best roof vents for garage? Our experts found thousands of feedback online for best roof vents for garage and shortlisted them. This suggestion is created for those looking for their ideal best roof vents for garage. You can find more information and updated pricing on the product mentioned in the description below. Uncomfortably hot temperatures can cause bad things to happen, such as accidents. Installing an AC system can be one solution, but it is expensive and troublesome. But you don't need to have air conditioning to remove the heat and draw cool air into your living and work area. You can use a high-quality, professional-grade shutter fan. iLiving shutter fans work by sucking fresh cold air in and blowing hot air out, lowering the overall temperature. By moving thousands of cubic feet of air per minute, it's effectively cooling as much as a 3,000-watt air conditioner will. You might use the shutter fan as a gardener needing to regulate airflow and temperature in a greenhouse, a metal worker ventilating smoke and fumes, or a craft beer enthusiast ventilating steam from your home brew. Ventilation is such an overlooked necessity. Our shutter fans will definitely help you turn your garage from a sweat box to a breezy space for working on your weekend projects. Installation is also a breeze because our shutter fans don't require excessive tools for wall mounting. The fan is powerful enough to blow the shutters open when on. And when off, the shutters automatically close for a tight seal. The OSHA compliant fan guards have a metallic polyester corrosion resistant finish and are powered by a fully enclosed thermally protected motor. The best part is that this fan comes in both single and variable speed models, making it useful for many different scenarios. iLiving Shutter Fan will help you save big on your energy bill. With iLiving, you can have perfect temperature for a perfect environment. Today we're working on a park model home where we're installing four solar blaster RVO vents. We're installing the galvanized model. We've removed the old park model vents that you uh, typically see on these. And we're going back with the solar powered RVO blasters. This should give the customers a lot of heat reduction, energy savings, less use of the heat pump, extend the life of the roof. Four nails, that's enough to hold these in place. Just finished the installation on this RVO blaster. And it's uh, 10 o'clock in the morning and this thing's already pumping the hot air out of this customer's park model home. We just finished installing the four galvanized RVO blasters on this customer's park model home. While we were up here, we noticed a couple of our bathroom pipes aren't sealed and possibly would leak under the right conditions. Good time to fix that up for have a happy customer with a new solar blasted roof. One of the great things about our country is that our venting is regional. So you're going to get different types of vents for different regions in America. Texas really likes these things. Our weathered bronze plant back with a 3 watt power plant and a 39 PFM motor. To the 5 watt model. They are convective vents, meaning that heat rising to them will help escape heat and moisture from your home. Our beautiful plant back vents are very attractive on your home. Our black plant back with a 5 watt power plant and a 96 PFM motor. Our slant backs by Solar Blaster. Today we're working on a park model home where we're installing four Solar Blaster RVO vents. We're installing the galvanized model. We've removed the old park model vents that you uh, typically see on these. And we're going back with the solar powered RVO blasters. This should give the customers a lot of heat reduction, 
energy savings, less use of the heat pump. Extend the life of the roof. Four nails, that's enough to hold these in place. Just finished the installation on this RVO blaster. And it's uh, 10 o'clock in the morning and this thing's already pumping the hot air out of this customer's park model home. We just finished installing the four galvanized RVO blasters on this customer's park model home. While we were up here, we noticed a couple of our bathroom pipes aren't sealed and possibly would leak under the right conditions. It's a good time to fix that up for her. Have a happy customer with a new solar blasted roof. Hey everybody, today we're gonna to show you how to install an attic fan, a solar attic fan from Amtrak Solar. First off, before you get going, you're going to need a couple items. You're going to need a drill with a one quarter inch drill bit. You're going to need something to mark it with, either a marking pencil or a pen. For your first box, when you open it up, you should find inside the instructions, which will be right here for you. Become self sufficient with the fan. You're going to get your wiring harness, which is basically plug and play. And you're going to get your kit here with all your brackets and screws. Everything you're going to need is going to be right here and you can follow along with the instructions. Okay, we come with a 40 and a 70 watt model. Okay, For today's installation we're going to be using the 70 watt model solar screen. When you open your second box, here's what you're going to find. This is your 70 watt solar screen, complete, already marked for you which one's positive, which one's negative. It's easy to do plug and play. What I suggest is you just go ahead and open it up. Look around, make sure and make sure there's no uh, any shipping damage or anything like that for you. Now you're ready to install. Okay, as it says in the instructions, you can test the equipment before you install it. So right now, we've got the connections on and we're ready to connect to the solar panel. Remember, there's no on off switch. So the minute you connect it, there you go. Everything's working. And you can see that the solar panel's working and the fan is working. So now you're ready to install. Okay, now this is with the optional thermostat that you can get with it. It's set at 85 degrees. So your attic fan will only turn on in temperatures of 85 degrees or higher. The instructions that come, that come with it are very simple, but as you know, once you plug it in, it'll start working again at temperatures above 85 or higher. Okay, as you can see, we're ready to install the fan. It's a natural fit between most dimensions for our fans or for the uh, attic vent. So you're just gonna take up the space in that gap with just some simple cardboard and you're just gonna push it up and fit it into the gap and plug it up. There you go, there you have it, nice and solid. And now we're gonna go ahead and wire this up and then we'll get the wire through the roof to go to the solar. Okay, now we're installing the last of the Z brackets on the solar panel. You wanna get it high and tight. Once you got it tight, we're going to take it up on the roof and then we'll be ready to install the wire. As you can see, we're ready to install the solar panel. Right here, we took the line through the roof. We put some little uh, roof tar, so you want to make sure you don't have any leaks. Just go around the wire and then wiggle the wire in and out so it's got enough that's going through the hole. The next thing we're going to do is place our solar panel. And you want it as high up on the roof edge as you can. The reason is you want to catch late afternoon into the evening solar because that's when your attic is going to want to be really cold before you go in tonight lower your cooling costs your AC. you're going to take a pencil and you're going to mark your z brackets so you know where you're going to install to the roof now when you take it back up you're going to see your brackets and you're going to put a dab of roof tar on it and then you're going to go ahead and install the screws it to the roof. Okay, now that you marked your holes, you're gonna get ahead and put a dab of roof tar on. If you have roof tar coming through all the holes, you know you did it right. Now you're ready to go ahead and install the solar panel with your screw. As you can see, we have it all wired up. You got the thermostat there and the wire. 
through the roof to the solar panel, which is already connected. But you can see that it's already up and working and doing a great job already cooling down this attic.